Question 6a then is a construction question. You're given a line with two points on it, B and C, and you're asked to construct an angle at B 60 degrees using a point A that you have to create. So to start off then, uh, my hint is just to think about what shapes have an angle of 60 degrees in them. Uh, considering you have to do this without uh, any set squares or protractors or anything like that, uh, the way you have to do this is with a compass. So what you do is set your compass at C and set the length to B and draw an arc like that. Do the same again at B, set the length to C and draw an arc so that it intersects the previous arc that you drew. What's happening there is you're constructing an equilateral triangle. The reason is you're setting your compass to this length so when you draw those arcs you're making sure that all your sides are the same length so you're constructing an equilateral triangle and the side effect of that is that each of these three internal angles here are 60 degrees. That's part one done then uh, so the second part is to construct an angle of 15 degrees again just using compass and straight edge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bisect this angle here A and to do that I set my compass to whatever length I like mark off a particular length from A onto one of the side lengths mark out the exact same length uh, on the other side that's adjacent to A I set my compass to those points and draw an arc and do the same thing with the other point, draw an arc. That will allow me to find half of that angle and draw a line that will demonstrate that. Now I have this angle here which is 30 degrees and I have this height here um, which is just a bit any particular height. So now I'm going to take my compass, measure that height there and draw an arc down to the line, this line that BC is on. Now from this point here I draw a line up to A and that gives me a new triangle. Now I know this angle here has to be 90 degrees because if this is 30 and this is 60 then this has to be 90. Um, this length here, the A down to the line BC and the length from this point over to where I just drew the arc those two lengths are the same so I have an isosceles triangle and since this angle is 90 the other two angles have to be 45 degrees each but if this angle here is 30 then this little bit here has to be the difference between 45 and 30 and that is 15 degrees in part B then, you're given a load of parallel lines, L1, L2, L3 and L4, and those are all parallel. There's this transversal line here, which is K. You're told that the line segment FG is parallel to K, this is FG, it's parallel to this transversal K. And HG is parallel to ED, this is HG, it's parallel to ED. And your job is to prove that the triangle CDE, that's this triangle here, and the other triangle FGH, I have to prove that they are congruent. Now just to get set up on this question, I've made a point A, which is where L1 and K cross, and I've made a point B, which is where L2 and K cross. I've also made this line here that passes through H and E. Now I just want to get started on uh, comparing the angles in these triangles. First of all, set up that they're, they're similar. Uh, this angle here, FHG, that must be equal to the angle here, CED. Um, and I know this because if HG and ED are parallel, then this new line that I've drawn here is a transversal line. So I can compare uh, these two angles and say that they're corresponding. Secondly, I know that these two angles, HFG and HAB, those are both equal as well because they're corresponding. And similarly, this angle ECD and 
FAB, they're both corresponding as well. So this angle and this angle here, they're both corresponding. Therefore, this angle, HFG, is equal to this angle, ECD. And because of that, then I know that this other angle here in each of these triangles must also be equal. So now I know these two triangles are similar, but I have to prove that they are congruent in that uh, they have to be the same size as well as also have the same uh, internal angles. So I'm told in the question that FG is parallel to K, so it must be that FG is parallel to AB. I also know that L1 and L2 are parallel. So this right here is a parallelogram which means that the length FG and the length AB are also equal. But because K is a transversal of these parallel lines, and you're specifically told that uh, the par these parallel lines, all the L's, make intercepts of equal length on the transversal K, I also know that the length AB and CD are the same. And so I can infer then, or I can, that even implies that uh, FG is equal to CD in terms of their lengths. So if all the angles are the same and I prove that one of their side lengths is the same, then that is enough proof to say that these two triangles are congruent. Just want to formalize that then. My first statement is that these two angles are equal, FHG and CED, those two are equal because they're corresponding angles. Um, the FAB then, this angle here is equal to ECD, this angle. Again, they're corresponding. I also know that HFG is equal to FAB because they're corresponding. And that implies that this angle is equal to this angle. It's HFG is equal to ECD. And therefore, because I've been able to compare the angles in both of these two triangles, and I know that they're equal, therefore these two triangles are similar. The next point I made was that this line here, FG, is parallel to AB. You were given that in the question, you were told that FG is parallel to K, and AB is just a line segment on the line K. We also know that FA is parallel to GB because uh, these two lines L1 and L2 are parallel and again those two are just line segments on those lines. So therefore this FABG is a parallelogram. Lastly then since FABG is a parallelogram I know that the length FG is equal to the length AB that's these two because they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. Uh, but we're given the statement that AB is equal to CD. That's this statement that uh, these parallel lines make intercepts of equal length on the transversal K. That means AB is equal to CD. Um, but that implies that this length here, FG, is equal to CD. And now I know since these two triangles are similar and they have at least one side length that's the same, uh, that means that the two triangles are congruent.